Three down, on to game number four. Welcome back to EA Sports Playoff coverage. I'm James Sabolski, along with Ray Ferraro. Here we go, game four. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. My goodness, he kept going on out too. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Turns it away. Denies him again. Oh, he snaps the glove save off there. Excellent chance in the slot. O'Reilly's able to help his team get possession right from puck drop, guys. His quick draw zone ability means he can win more face-offs and give his team the edge in those matchups. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. We got a whistle offside the call. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Moves it over to Pareko. O'Reilly's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, that's a huge stop by Flurry. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of him. That's a good save. Into the attacking area from the left side. Through center along the wing. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Kaprizov. Moves it to the middle. Moves it again. And that pass doesn't go. Can't connect. Loose puck battle along the boards. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Moves it to Kairou. Fires it. And he was ready for that save. Save made by the goalie. It's a really good save. In tight, he shuts down the area where the puck can go by getting out onto the puck. And there's nowhere for the shooter to put it. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And now he angles it across to Gabarik. Poked away at center by Letty. Minnesota's looking to break out. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Here's a short pass to Folk. Through center. Taken along the wall by Dumba. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. The Wild have the puck on the attack. The Blues have it against the wall. And they come up with possession off that battle. Taken by Addison. Dumps it in. The Blues will play the puck from behind the net. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. They put the puck into the offensive end. Sends it across the ice. Gaudreau's got the puck in his own zone. Here we go, puck's in deep. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Achari's got it along the wing. And that pass goes off a stick. Flurry's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Late goings of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Flurry's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that's broken up. Pass back to the point. Denies him with the save. Good read by 
by the winger as the two setters tie up. Slides it over to Scandella. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more in a moment. All right, I think my partner in crime, Ray Ferraro, is rested and refreshed along with the teams. We're ready to get things underway. Both teams still feeling each other out after a scoreless 20. Let's see if that changes here in period number two. Ray, as we get things underway here in this second, scores! That's such a closely contested game. Finally, they get a lead here in the second period. And now it's grabbed by Brodeen. Sent into the offensive zone. St. Louis has it near the wall. Thunderous collision along the boards. Dumps it into the ozone. Moves the puck across to Spurgeon. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Quick pass over to Krug. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Oh, look out. Oh, what a collision into the boards. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Eric Sinek. Quick pass to Bushnevich. Puck picked up by Tarasenko. Poked away in the neutral zone by Eric Sinek. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he keeps possession. Offside the call will get a reset. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Blues lead it 1-0. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Maintains possession. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Nice pass. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Couldn't make the connection on the play. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Passed up ahead. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Grabbed along the board by Shen. Takes the feed from the left side. And the goaltender scores! And Luke goes well on the doorstep and he didn't miss that. The Blues have to be feeling good about themselves here late in the second period with now a two-goal lead. Right for the second half of the game, they'd love to be able to duplicate that first half, which was almost perfection. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Quick feed to Hartman. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Beatington's going to hang on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name in I don't know how long. The play's been at the other end of the ice forever. Past the midway mark of the frame, St. Louis continues to lead by a pair of goals. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Greenwood. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Bennington Sharp to make that stop. Puck scooped up by Barbashev. On the attack along the boards. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Blues lead this one to zip. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. They go on the attack from the left side. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it to Jost. Handles the puck. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Tries to get 
get the puck to Brodeen. Minnesota's got him along the wall. Pushes it across to Neighbors. Here's a short pass to Barbashev. Sends it to the middle. And it goes off a stick and off target. Oh, turns it aside once again. Can't make it work. Can't make the connection on the pass. And there's the horn bringing it in to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action, ready to go. And this one's underway here in the third. With play underway here in this third period, Ray Ferraro offers his own perspective of how things have gone out so far. Minnesota's working away and not generating much. That's got to change here in the third period, James. They want to get back in the game. They're getting it. That's three second goals. Now the goalie keeps working over. Tonight, Ray. No, they'd have to play really poorly to screw off this now. They've played outstanding hockey. St. Louis wins the draw in the neutral zone. Dishes it to Brodeen. Sends the pass over. From the slot, wrist shot. Scores! Is that momentum screaming now? And if they can get another one, he'll start to scream here. Minnesota's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, but the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. Shen's won the draw. Eric's an ex-work ethic was really on display there, I think, James. You know, like, it's easy to quit on a play when you stumble because you know you're out of it. But he wasn't out of it, and he ended up with a really good scoring chance as a result. Slides the puck over. And that goes off a body. They've had great energy and puck support on this shift. They've had it the whole time. I don't know how it hasn't gone in the net. And he gets a whistle after they've been under siege here. They look like five strangers trying to defend in front of him. No Finally, kidding. he's able to cover it up. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Minnesota still down by two goals in this one. Shen's won the faceoff. Gets it over to Krug. And now he tries to get it across to Thomas. Nice zone entry from the middle. Oh, it's just wide of the net in the playoff. He's going to shake his head when he sees this because he's, he's in as good a scoring spot as you're going to get to all night. And he just misses the net. Dismiss that chance. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Puck grabbed by Pareko. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. The Wild have possession along the boards. Sends it across the ice. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Quick pass to Achari. The Blues take it along the wing. Quick feed to Letty. And now he moves it to Achari. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Brodeen swooping in on the attack. Wrist shot from the slot. And he comes up big with the stick save. Getting all of it with the paddle. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Big save. This is a great reaction save. Right in the slot. That is a test for the glove. But it's in the glove and it's put away. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Passes the puck over to Greenway. Oh, and they probably want to redo on that. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? The Blues gain possession along the wall. Excellent stick work on the play. Nice zone entry on the left side. Tries to dangle, and the puck skips away. 
Tries that last move. Maybe he should just shoot the puck or get it deep. Got a chase now. Close the puck. Moves it quickly over to side. And he takes the dish. And that's poked away by Felino. Moves it to Tarasenko. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. O'Reilly's helped his team out by getting in on the scoring. He's had the stronger performance, in my opinion, guys. Taken by Scandella. Shot! Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Fleury. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Buchnevich. Here's a chance behind the net. Under a minute to go in the third. Here's a chance in front. He scores! What an opportunity he delivers! St. Louis has finally given their coaches something to smile about because they like to nitpick a lot, easy. Well, we hear from them before the game and they're always something that they're critical of because they want to be a better team. Tonight, I don't know how they could critique this. And he takes the feed. Kaprizov's got the puck along the wing. Long reach breaks up the momentum. St. Louis is across the line and on the attack. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Zuccarello. And now he moves it quickly to Brodeen. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard victory. And it's in the net. That's a goal. They're going to count that one. Puck possession so critical in today's game. And the official ready to drop the puck right here. Face off here in the neutral zone. And we are back underway. And that brings in to this one here this evening. Deuces wild in this series, pretty much what we expected. Yeah, now you get into the part of the series, James, where it becomes a war of attrition. Guys are starting to get banged up, they're tired, the games get more and more intense. And they'll come out and salute the fans after the win. Just the way it should be. You win, you salute the fans, the fans get to say thanks. I love it. And that'll do it from this one here tonight for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Good night.